Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, Chip Walters here uh, to talk a little bit about uh, one of the reasons why I can't continue using SketchUp for some of my projects today. Um, in particular, uh, other polygon modelers have a pretty good filleting and chamfering engine and SketchUp, while uh, uh, it's got great plugins and Frito does a great job with them, uh, has a real problem filling something even as simple as this cube. So this is this is a cube that all I've done really is add these two triangles and you can see, you know, if we go to the if we go to top view. There we go. So this is what it looks like uh, without perspective. Um, front and here's the side and here's the back and here's the other side and here's the top. So it gives you an idea of, of what we're looking for. So uh, uh, back to perspective. So if I just select this, let's go in here and we're just going to uh, select the whole thing. Actually, let me turn off the hidden lines for a second. There you go. And I'm just going to do filleting. I'm going to fill it. So you see, I've got like a five segment, two centimeter offset. And if I click to execute, it says an error was found. And the reason why the error is, is because <clears throat> these, the uh, Frito's tool cannot fill it uh, polygons that have triangles in them, the hidden triangles, and that's a real challenge. And so there's not, you know, there's not really much of a workaround for this other than having to manually maybe uh, extrude some bevels and, and stitch things together. There's no, no real easy way to do that. And this is kind of a big deal uh, because it's a, it's a rather trivial thing to do in other programs. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's, uh, I'm going to jump into Blender here. So here we are in Blender uh, with that exact same cube, and I can uh, hit the tab key, go into it, and under select, say, uh, select sharp edges, and then uh, bevel those. So uh, there we go, move them out, and then, you know, as you see, Blender has no problem at all, you know, uh, filling this particular object and does a really nice job. So anyway, that's a, uh, I think it's a real issue. And uh, I hope that uh, somebody in the, in the uh, SketchUp community will look at this and try and figure out a way to fix it because currently it's kind of a deal breaker for me in a lot of the modeling I want to do in SketchUp. Thanks for watching.